Hi, it's Derek Craval, founder of Vehicle Graphics Academy and author of Vehicle Graphics Campaign Strategies. I speak to business owners every day and they all seem to have some of the same questions regarding vehicle graphics. I thought I'd spend a little bit of time in this video and try and cover those questions with you in the hopes that I'll actually help you to speed up the process. Now here are six of the most common questions I get on a daily basis. How long does it last? Will it harm the paint? How long does it actually take for the process? How do I clean and care for the vehicle? How do I remove the graphics? And what do I need to get started? There are three key components to long-lasting graphics. The type of graphic that would look good for a long time and actually hold up well on the vehicle. The first is actually proper preparation. It means the vehicle needs to be cleaned properly before any vinyl is applied to it. The use of a skilled installer is so critical in a good finished product, but also in having graphics that's going to typically last for a long time. Quality vinyls and inks, so good vehicle graphic vinyl combined with inks and also laminates make a huge difference. A film laminate is preferred over a liquid laminate long term. If you do those three things, the graphics should last anywhere from three to five years and in some cases actually outlast the vehicle. Now once the vinyl is applied most people want to know now will it harm my paint and the answer is absolutely not. A good quality vehicle graphics vinyl when removed will leave no residue on the vehicle. The only exception is if you're painting a vehicle after market and it's not painted properly or it doesn't have sufficient time to dry and cure it could potentially peel while you're trying to remove the graphics so you want to make sure that you really communicate with whoever the body shop is painting your vehicle and explain to him that you're actually going to be wrapping the vehicle and you want to make sure that it's done properly now what's involved in this process and how long does it actually take? Well I would allocate about one to three days for design and approval with a vehicle graphics company or a designer. So about three to four days to actually print the graphics, let it dry, laminate it and prepare the panels for installation and then about one to two days to install. Typically most vehicles can be installed within six to eight hours even a full wrap but in some cases it can extend to two days if you've got a much larger vehicle to work with. Now that you spent some money on your vehicle graphics obviously you want to know how to take care of it and how to make sure that it looks good for a long time. First thing is obviously no abrasive car washes. The bristles and brushes can actually lift the vinyl and it can actually scratch some of the laminates in some cases. No drive through high pressure car washes because the pressure again you don't have the ability to control it and you can actually start to lift and peel vinyl and actual uh, crevices and cracks. Some of those washes also use a very harsh chemical so you actually want to stay away from those as well. I recommend using a coin car wash that way you can actually control the spray. Just stand back a little bit and spray the vehicle and you want to use a, a damp cloth or something to wipe and clean it and that typically will give you the best results long term. Once the graphics have been applied to the vehicle the next question is how do I remove it? Use heat and peel back slowly. That's basically the formula. You can use a heat gun or on a summer day, nice hot summer day, you can physically just peel it off of the vehicle. In some cases you might have some type of a residue where the installer may have used a primer in areas where he wanted the uh, graphics to stick a little bit more aggressively. Use a solvent remover such as Rapid Remove and physically just scrape the goo off of the vehicle and wash it and then you're back to your original paint job. If you have quite a bit of vinyl on a vehicle, I strongly recommend having a vehicle graphics company remove it. This process can be extremely time consuming and sometimes almost impossible under certain circumstances. Now once you're ready to get started, communication really is the key. You need to be very specific about the objectives for your vehicle graphics or for your marketing campaigns. You want to make sure you provide any logos or any types of graphics that you're going to need incorporated into the actual design 
very detailed information on the vehicle itself, the year, make and model and color of course, but if there is any deviations from the standard model, you're going to want to make sure they're aware of that because they will be using a standard template to actually design your vehicle to scale. Any preference with regards to color schemes or if you want them to be consistent with some of your internal marketing either on your website or in some of your marketing literature, you want to make, make sure that they're aware of that. Provide any brochures or any literature for them. Communication really will make a huge difference in both speeding up the entire process and ultimately allowing you to get the results you're actually trying to achieve. I hope I answered some of your questions. I'm sure you have lots of other questions. But if you're really serious about marketing and achieving success with your vehicle wrap campaigns, I've put together a wealth of information both in the way of videos and online documentation. You can have free access to this information at vehiclewrapvideos.com. Just provide us with your email address and you'll have instant access. I wish you best of luck with your vehicle graphics marketing campaigns and I look forward to seeing your comments on the blog.